Hey everyone, let's check out Quen 3VL today in Comfy UI, working locally with your other diffusion models, and see how you can generate something like this using the vision language model Quen 3VL. We're also comparing this model with a recent launch vision language models available in Comfy UI. Let's see what that looks like with the generated output. I've got Quen 3VL here, and above it we have Mini CPM V which is another vision language model that was released recently and is also available to integrate with other diffusion models in Comfy UI. Here, I use the exact same text prompt, instructing it to create a dialogue for the video events, generating dialogue every three seconds about what's happening during that duration. As you can see, Quen 3VL seems to provide more information in the response text, covering the full zero to 12 seconds here. Later in this video, I'm going to use Quen VL and integrate it with a very simple image generation workflow and a video generation workflow, showing you how you can collaborate with Quen VL using an input image or input video in this node. For example, I've got this clip from the Singing in the Rain video, and I'm creating text dialogues for generating video in Comfy UI. First, we're going to do the easy way using image generation. These templates are available in the Browse Template section in Comfy UI. You can use the Quen Image Text to Image Template or try other Quen Image Templates with ControlNet. We'll use this default template with all the preset values. It helps us go from an empty workflow to creating something faster. Based on this Text to Image workflow, I added this Quen VL Advanced node. We don't need the predefined text prompt. We can just empty it and use Quen VL as the prompt generator because this AI model receives the image or video, then follows instructions to create text prompts, and that's good enough. I'm going to connect an image using Load Image. This is an AI image I generated in a previous video. Based on this image, I'm going to try it out with Quen VL. I'm going to use the Quen VL 4B model, instruct FP8 type, which should load on most local PCs. I'm setting this to 720p resolution, that's common for images, and also works well for AI video generation. I'm also going to add a LoRa model, the Quen Image Lightning 4-Step LoRa. I'm connecting this Quen Image Lightning 4-Step LoRa into the model data pipe, setting the K sampler, adjusting the seed numbers to fixed. I've also brought up the show text node, so it's easier to read what's coming up from the response. Looking at the image, we got a similar image to the one in the reference. And just to clarify, this is text to image, not image to image. We're using the AI generated image and using Quen VL to compose the text prompts, recreating the same composition in a new image. As you can see, we have text prompts that instruct the AI, and it writes an in depth, detailed description of everything in the input image. We get those text prompts, really detailed, written out clearly for the text to image workflow to generate this image. And the outcome looks pretty similar to what I have in the load image node. I'm going to build on this workflow and make it a little bit nicer. I'll add a second sampler after the first one for some refinement of the image. This is just a demo of how image generation workflows go. You don't need to be too complex. Just start from the example, workflows. You can already get pretty nice results and keep Quen VL as your first input source. From there, you get the text prompt, generate the image, and then run a second pass for refinement. After the second pass, we got a little more clarity on everything in that output image. Because I set it to really low sampling, I didn't want too much difference between the first sampler's result and the refined version, so you can play around with all kinds of settings. People sometimes feel too scared to create a workflow from scratch, but it's actually very easy to do. You can also try other sampling methods. I'm using the scheduler beta, which can create some pretty nice images. For the second pass, I'd suggest trying out different sampler methods to get the refinement result you want. Let's save this workflow and add an image compare node. This lets you guys see the difference after the second pass refinement. You can slide this node to compare before and after. After refinement, we have more clarity on everything in the generated image especially the glass on the table, the cake, and the rose flowers, which all got a little better in overall quality. That was the first sampler result, and now we're doing refinement. With just one more step in the workflow, we get a way better result for what you're trying to generate.
Continuing with this workflow built from scratch, I'm going to add a very simple, basic upscaler, the Ultimate SD Upscale. We're loading an upscale model, connecting the refined output image, and then hooking up all the VAE positive and negative conditions, as well as the model data pipe into this node. That's what you'll connect as your final output. Then we get another output image after upscaling. It's pretty easy to build a workflow from scratch as long as you have an idea of what you want to do. It's not about someone else telling you what to do. Once you have that goal or desire for creating something, you'll naturally find the direction for which custom nodes to use in Comfy UI and how to set everything up for your desired result. Once I click Run again, this will start the image upscale. Now you see the upscaled image. Let's bump that up to 3,800 pixels wide. That's the full view after upscaling the refined image, and everything looks pretty clear. The upscaler I used hasn't introduced too many artifacts or gone overboard with detail refinement. It's just a regular real Ezergan 4X upscale model, nothing fancy, just a standard image enlargement model. That's basically it for how you use QuenVL as your prompt input. It gives you a very long, detailed description, almost like an essay, going deep into every element in your input image. Then, with a very simple workflow, it generates an image just like this. Of course, you can add more LoRa models after the Quen Image Lightning 4-step LoRa. For example, I'll drag this node down and make space for another LoRa, maybe a style-based one. This time, I'm using an Asian character styles LoRa. The generated result here, as you can see, is a Korean style girl sitting with the same composition as my input image. Even the sweater is the same style, but now it's worn in a Korean way, and the indoor decorations feel like they're in a South Korean restaurant. The composition can really be mixed and matched with Laura's and the text prompt. Next, I'm not going to use an image. I'm going to bring Quen VL into a video generation workflow. Here we have the WAN 2.2 text to video workflow from the default browse template. You can go to Browse Template, click Video, and there you'll find the WAN 2.2 text to video workflow. That's the same one I'm going to build. Going back to the image workflow, we're going to use the same concept with QuenVL and plug it into this video workflow. We don't need that video text prompt anymore. I'm also going to modify the output. I prefer using the Video Combine node, so we don't need the To Video node. The group at the bottom in this template workflow. We don't use that one because it doesn't have a LoRa connected for the WAN 2.2 Light X 2V. We'll just delete it. The one above works perfectly fine. The next thing we're going to add is the Quen VL Advanced node, along with the Show Text node, so it's easier for us to see what we're getting. It's just more human friendly to read the AI's response in plain text. The output strength from Quen VL is going to feed directly into the positive prompt input text area here. First though, we've got to bypass the Quen VL node to make sure the WAN 2.2 model is working okay. I'll run a quick test just to confirm everything's loading correctly. Then we can bring Quen VL back in. Here we go. This is from the predefined text prompt. Close-up shot of the lady smiling, which came straight from the browse template. That means our video setup is working correctly. Now the next step, we don't need that positive prompt anymore. We're going to let QuenVL generate the text prompt for us. So, let's move that old prompt node off to the side. I'll load a video node and send it to the QuenVL node's video input so it knows we're feeding it a video. Remember to set the force FPS rate to 24 because that's the default frame rate Quen3VL expects. Make sure your text prompt instruction is clear about what you want. In this case, I'm going to generate a 5 second video. I'll ask Quen VL to output a dialogue that describes every one second what's happening in the input video. For example, I want it to list out the events second by second, what's going on in each moment of that input clip. That generated dialogue will become the text prompt I feed into WAN 2.2. And as I've tested before, using time-based durations in the prompt actually works really well with WAN 2.1 and 2.2. It helps the AI stick to the timing and actions you want. Here's the generated result for that five second clip. You see that guy dancing on the rooftop, putting his hands up and moving around. 
which means it worked. The output matches the input video's action. If you have less VRAM, or if you just want to keep your workflow tidy, you can always add a VRAM and cache cleanup node. That way, every time the workflow finishes, it automatically clears memory and cache. In this next example, we've got young couples smiling in a more classic video style. As you can see, multiple models are loading here, so memory cleanup becomes super helpful. By cleaning up VRAM and cache in the workflow, you save memory and can run longer contexts or more complex setups as you expand your project. And here's the result. Again, the composition is based on the input video, with QuenVL creating descriptive dialogues as text prompts. The output shows similar actions, young couples hugging and smiling, just like in the source. The LoRa I'm using here is the text-to-video LightX 2V LoRa. And honestly, QuenVL in Comfy UI is really just using one simple feature of this AI model. If you scroll down on the QuenVL Hugging Face page, you'll see it's capable of so much more, like OCR, reading complex context, and advanced multimodal reasoning. But in Comfy UI, when you're generating images and videos, you're mostly just tapping into its long context video understanding feature, which is just one part of what this model can actually do. Vision language models are also used in vision agents, coding bots, advanced analytics, and OCR systems. Those applications are more technical and less artistic. And of course, they're also used in robotics, where the model helps a robot see objects through a camera and react in real time. I hope to bring in this info and let you know that Comfy UI is just a slice of what artificial intelligence is all about. Alright, that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. See ya.